What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are rolling along with our NA restoration project we have here. In the previous videos, we've been focusing on the interior and we just about have it wrapped up. Today, we're adding the last piece to it and Mas Miata was kind enough to send over these restoration door panels for us. So we're gonna be installing these on the doors on this car. And these are made out of these ABS plastic forever panels. If you're not familiar with these, it's a basically replica door panel. So it's the exact shape as the factory panel. It has all these cutouts that are kind of pre-shaped here for you and you can pop out the ones you need and leave the ones you don't. Now this is the Moss handcrafted upholstery. So you can get just the blank forever panels if you wanna wrap them yourselves or you can also have Moss do their handcrafted upholstery on these. These are really nice. They've got like a, a padded foam like under layer and it's quite a bit thicker than the factory. Um, also with the plastic forever panel, it's gonna be a lot more durable than the factory kind of almost cardboard like texture. So we've got the black suede here. Looks really nice. We've already got this driver side door on. So on this one, we're gonna walk you through how to do this yourself, how to install it on the passenger side here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, we've got a few tools here that's gonna help us out. Uh, this is mostly for popping out the little pre-cut uh, plastic holes and stuff you're gonna need. So you need like a socket or we have like some press tools here, something solid that you can lay the door panel over because we're gonna be basically punching these out with like a screwdriver and a hammer. And you need the opening on this piece to be big enough for the piece you're popping out to kind of fall into. Okay, so with the fabric already on there, it's gonna be a little difficult because you're gonna have to punch this way, right? Through the back side. And so what we've been doing to kind of orient ourselves on this front piece is I take a drill bit, really small, right? I go into the center of the hole I'm trying to punch out. And this is the uh, window crank hole. And I just, I'm really careful here, making sure I just get through the plastic. So I'm not messing up the fabric on the other side. And then once I had this hole through, what we've been doing is using a, um, oh, it broke. <laughs> it was a little sharper, but we were using a pick here and just punching through, making sure we clear the fabric, kind of supporting it on the other side. But we need to be able to see where we're gonna be um, having to push through from this end. So, a little more. Okay, so once I have a pretty obvious idea of where I need to punch through, I take the cup here and I pull this out. And then I kind of just eyeball where we needed to be. So, you know, holes through there. Put that there, flip it over, and then now I'll be able to take uh, some kind of screwdriver. We have an assortment here, like Alex was saying, and then I put it exactly where that hole was. And then you just take a hammer, pop it through. What's happened is I've gone through the original hole I drilled instead of pushing out this entire piece. So um, if you have something larger, that won't be less likely to pierce through the hole you already made, I would use that and don't make the same mistake we did. So flipping this over, I'm gonna use a larger punch. All right, so that got it cracked and that's gonna let me just lift this up pretty easily. Cool, all right. Okay, so now that one's done, we're gonna move on to the next one and then we'll cut this fabric as one of like the last steps. All right, so um, same thing we did before. Drilled a small hole. This one's kind of tough since it's tiny. Um, at least for us, for some reason, it's been tough. I think the fabric being on here already it makes it a little more difficult to push these out. So again, cupping the hole we made, we just drilled that through, poked it through the fabric so we can have a reference point on the other side. And then I'm just gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna use something bigger so I don't pierce it and make it a, just a bigger hole. I want the whole piece to pop out. So we'll put a bigger screwdriver there and just give it a good tap. 
All right, so that almost got it out. It's moving along. I'm going to do it one more tap. Cool. So you see it popped out and it's right here for us. So one thing you want to make note of on these is going to be the speaker cutout. This is different for early Miatas, later Miatas. Um, so this is an early Miata. So basically just look at your, your door panels. On, on this style, we're actually going to end up taking this whole piece off because the factory panels have the replacement kind of speaker grill that covers this whole area. So that's what we're gonna do on ours. Yours might be different if you have a 1.8 or a little bit newer car, but they have cutouts for every style of speaker. Yep. Boom. It's really easy just to grab some pliers here. <laughs> this is pretty easy, huh? It is so easy. <laughs> if you had, if we had smaller pliers, that would have been even easier. <laughs> but yeah, just you know, just perforate it. So just grab a piece and crack it back. Okay, so this one's a little different. So what you can do with these larger lines, probably the same. If you were to do this one up here, is just the, you know the material's really really flexible. So what you can do is just bend it across this crack. separate itself so I got this whole section undone right and now I'm gonna cut the fabric back so I can just remove this entire piece and then once that's cut give us a little extra here I'm just gonna use my razor to pry up the fabric and pull this lip back The fabric's all pulled back. What we're gonna do is pull that piece off. Okay, so now we're left with a bunch of fabric. You're pretty much gonna have to re-glue this back, right? So we're gonna cut a lot of the extra off, obviously. And then we use um, 3M Super 77. You saw us use it in the carpet as well. This is like a really good multi-purpose adhesive. And um, it's what we use on like headliners and stuff too. So it, it holds well. You don't really have to worry about it coming apart. Give me a little more, or a little less this time. Just take your razor. If you're not comfortable with cutting a lot first, you know, leave more and just trim more as you go. But we're gonna leave about half an inch, three quarters of an inch maybe. And just kind of follow the, the plastic. Pull the foam off and then just cut the remaining fabric off. And so what you're gonna need to do is fold all this back over. I might have not left enough. <laughs> all right, so we're cutting the foam a little bit just to give our fabric a little more, I guess like a little, an easier time to fold over, right? So I'm just cutting the foam out, not the actual fabric. You bring the glue out and we're gonna glue all this back and tuck it back to where we need it. Pretty generous with it. Um, and this stuff, you just wanna let it get tacky. It's like 30 seconds is what the can says. All right. So once this gets tacky, it really shouldn't like, transfer over to your skin. We're just gonna fold this over. If you need to, you can cut little like relief cuts in. So the NA version of these door panels is made to reuse the factory style clips that attach it to the door. We ordered some replacement clips off of Amazon. If you're like us, there's probably a, quite a few clips that are broken or missing on yours. So we're gonna put all new clips in these panels. So once you got everything situated, all your holes are cut, it's a good idea to go ahead and, go ahead and cut some of this fabric on the holes you're gonna use, right? Just so the 
whatever's got to come through has an easier time. So we're just going to take the razor here and cut an X. It doesn't, you don't need to take the whole circle out, right? The fabric's flexible. This can be like just a portion of the hole. It doesn't have to be the full circle. You're going to line it up. Make sure none of the old clips are still in these holes that you're putting your new ones through. Sometimes that happens. So you may have noticed when we were doing this, we didn't make any of the holes up here. And that is because mine are all broken. <laughs> um, but if you do have the posts that are still available and they're not like disintegrated and falling apart, um, you would pop these holes out just like we did these other ones. And uh, basically just attach all of this with these screws that are on here before putting this on. If you're like me and all your stuff's broken, I do have uh, one clip on the front here that you can still use. So I'm just gonna make sure that's in there and that everything else is aligned so it falls down easy. All right, as a final little finishing touch to this interior, we also have some suede black handbrake and shift boots from Moss here that we're gonna go ahead and put on. Okay, so when you're putting this on, I just, I just discovered this. You see how this the bottom side is a little wider than the top right? The fabric has a longer and a shorter side. So this backing is longer than this front side right here. And so you'll notice that if you're doing it incorrectly, if your holes um, require the fabric to be like really bunched up in order to put them through, then you'll, you'll, you have it backwards basically, which is what I just did. So just flip it around, start over. Easy peasy. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for us on this one. We are super stoked on how these door panels came out. They look super nice. The interior basically looks brand new now. So if you wanna check this out for yourself, make sure to head on over to masmiata.com. They have these and everything else you may need to refresh your interior. So again, big thank you to Moss for providing these door panels to us for this video. But that is gonna do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a like. As always though, Thank you for watching, have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one.